Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. There is absolutely no grounds for my arrest. In Illinois, on July 8, 2023, Officers from the Naperville Police Department were dispatched to a situation where a Karen mother and her son were involved in a heated argument. Upon encountering the individual in question, the officer requested that she exit her vehicle and informed her of the ongoing police investigation. Here is how the situation played out. Come on out of the car. Out of the car, please. Out of the car, please. We're conducting an investigation. I need you to step out of the car. You're not going anywhere, okay? You understand? Nope. You're gonna you're gonna step out of the vehicle right now, please. Thank you. Are you okay with taking a figuring out her yep. son with her? Why don't you have a seat on you the ground? Asked for me. You, you asked me for some ID, yes uh -huh. or no. Well, because you have your purse I on you. I went to go get you some ID. I've got what enough for... I was not. I was Could I go get him see. some ID? I don't need an ID right now, ma'am. I'd really appreciate it, though, if you could hang tight for a second. Can we do that, please? I would really appreciate he that. asked me for some ID. I understand. I yeah. am trying to comply with the person who has threatened to arrest me if I do not comply. Well, ma'am, I'm here now. And Can I'm I no. No. get no. my ID? No, ma'am. I'm asking you nicely to please just take a minute right here. Um, I've got a video. He wants me injury. to get so my ID. If this is going to go south, we can just uh, hook He her wants the me to get um, some ID. May I get I some ID? Uh, no, I, I don't yes have that. or no? He Do you no, have that on your but if, video? But if she's that he, continue like this, do she's you have do that on your video so. that he asked me for some ID? No, ma'am, I was not present. Ma'am, what's your name? What's your name, ma'am? What's on your ID? What's on your video? So, uh, I'm comfortable with the video I just watched and okay. with the obvious signs of injury. All right, I will go. Turn, turn this is your you're house. under arrest right now. Okay. Why? You're under Drop arrest your Why? for domestic battery. I need Drop you to stop tensing Why? Up. I have asked multiple times I've got why I am under arrest you're gonna for yourself. domestic you're gonna hurt battery. Yourself, you're gonna I don't want Could that. someone tell me, is anyone, I have a video and obvious signs of injury, ma'am. That's why you're under arrest right now. Injury of what kind? Uh, that's not locked in. It's locked, it's, but it's... It, oh, okay, yeah. It's just gonna move tight in. Yeah, I don't want it to. Yeah. Need the credit card to find out. No. Okay, we're not gonna play the game. Listen. You're walking, job, Donna. You're walking. Well, I'd ask if you want to see the Yeah. Can you put out her legs here? Yeah. Take them out. Donna, you're adding charges here. You're going to be audio video recorded while you're in the back of my squad car. Number 22, I just need one more person because she's twice my size. Just need one person to help me. 22, I'm en route to the jail. Could you please tell me why I'm under arrest? Could you please tell me why I'm under arrest? Not one single person has told me why I am under arrest. Not one single person has read me my rights. Not one single person 
has told me why I am in the back of a squad car. Could you, the driver of the squad car, please tell me? Could you please just tell me why I'm in here? Could you, Madame Officer, please tell me why I am in this car? Yes, ma'am, I told you you're under arrest. Okay, we're going to the Naperville jail. For what? For domestic battery charge, ma'am. Why? Because you battered your son and I was on video with obvious signs of injury. Yes, ma'am. It's not up to debate. It's been done. I have the probable cause for the arrest. We'll be going to do some paperwork, okay? Not okay. Okay. Could you please tell me your name, officer? I'm sorry you are choking on your latte. Could you please tell me your name, officer? Okay, we all know that everything in this car is taped, and now we know that this female officer who has blonde hair in a bun and who has earrings that hang down to her shoulders, and I do not know her name, but we all know that this officer is not willing to provide her name, even though she is driving me to the police station on a Friday afternoon in July. And she is saying that I am under arrest, but there is absolutely no record of an arrest. And I will be suing the Naperville Police Office for this arrest. And this officer is part and parcel of that. You want to tell me your name yet? Which is illegal for the tape. There is absolutely no grounds for my arrest. And she and every fellow officer knows it. And she, nor any fellow officer, to the way. What's her name? What's her name? Time to walk. What's her name? Time to walk. Anna, you're getting more charges. You're going to get name? more charges if you don't stop. Time to walk. What's her name? Walk. What are my charges? In the end, this particular Karen faced legal charges for two instances of domestic battery as well as resisting arrest. In a bizarre scene that played out on September 21st, 2020, the brave Hartford, Connecticut police officers embarked on an epic mission to stop a vehicle that had made it to their notorious list of wanted cars. This particular ride had quite the reputation. Not only was it reported stolen, but it also had some serious street cred for being involved in a wild shots fired incident in a nearby community. However, little did our fearless officers know that they were about to witness the most outrageous performance by none other than Karen herself, who won the crowd over with her theatrics, as you are about to see. Hot 
See your car right here, ma'am? I see it's on red. You see A W A. There's no possible way. Listen, listen, listen. No. There's no possible way. My car has never ever been stolen. Ever. Well, listen, listen. We're trying to tell you. We're trying to tell you. No, the f***ing hasn't. Leave me alone. No, it hasn't. Never in life has it ever. Everything is in my name. Listen. I'm trying to. We're trying to show you why we stopped. That system you what? did? No. Did you make up the listen. numbers? Listen, no, listen. Where'd you get the numbers from? All right, I'm done. I'm done. Oh my God! I can't talk about that. We're past 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 that. Give me my registration and insurance. Can we? All right, 19, go. You're not gonna give it to me. Listen, ma'am. You're not gonna give it to me. Ma'am. You're not gonna give it to me. Ma'am. It's me. You see, I'm the owner. What are we doing? What are we doing? We have to run it. We have to run. We have to do a protocol. What are you doing? No, I don't want to talk to you. Okay, just stay here. Stay over there. I'll just leave. No, you can't leave. You can't. It's my car. I can absolutely. Ma'am. Like, do you have the keys? Man, 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 get out of the car. Oh, what? what are you doing? Oh, what? Stay, over stay, over stay, stay over there. 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 I'm not going to tell you again. Stay, stay over there. No. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. It's my car and it's not stolen. Listen, watch out. It's my car. Let it out of the car. Get out of the car. I don't give a f. Put it in park. It's my car. What are you doing? It's my car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get back, get back, get back. No, I do it in here. Leave me the f alone. Stay over there. Leave me alone. Step out. Leave me alone. I'm not going to tell you guys. Stay right there. Step out. Leave my sister alone. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Stay back. Stay back. Step out. Leave my sister alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Baby, put the car in park, baby. Put the car in park. Put the car in park, baby. Put it in park. You guys back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Get behind the curb. I'm not telling you to get back. Leave me alone. Back up. Back up. Calm down, baby. Calm down. Let's go. Leave my car. Leave me alone. I have my daughter here. Leave me alone. Just like him. Don't tell my stepdad. We're here. We're here for our sister. No, that's fine. We're trying to listen. We're trying to run the front. Back up. 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 Back up, ma'am. Ma'am, stay back, stay back. Stay back, please. Please stay back. We got to listen. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get behind. Get behind. Get back. Get back. Get back. Relax. Relax. Get back. I'm not going to tell you again. Get back. Get back. Look what they're doing to her. She's not listening. Get back. Oh, that's a big 
She made her decision. Stay back. I'm not with you. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Back up. 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 Yo, you don't need that many. Back up. Back up. Back up. Why is it not a female officer? Look at Listen. Guys, guys, back off, back off. She can't listen, breathe. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, she can't they got to try to calm her down. Relax. Yo, you need to tell them that she can't breathe, man. They need to help her. She, she gets, trust me. They're doing what they got to do. Step back, step back, step back. Okay, I'm going to record it. That's fine, that's fine. Record all you got want to. But stay, record, but stay, stay, stay on the curb. Stay on the curb. We good, we good. I'm going to offer two, 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 bro. It's not right. It's not right. It's not, right. It's not needed for all this extra stuff. I'm gonna offer the two. This is not needed for all this. It's for the police. Why, why is there no female cop out here? Why is there not, why is there not a female cop out here? Why is there not a female cop out here? Why is there not a female cop out here? Why is there not a female cop out here? Step back. Just relax. Just step back. Step back. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Sit down and stay still. Yeah, baby. Calm down. Calm down. I mean, now she's clear enough. Yeah, she got to see who's ready in the restraints. She got to calm yep. down. I'm all, all ready to make it my way. Yep. Are you are you are you a uh, relative? I thought you said you were his sister. That is my sister. So th the little girl's in the car. Ain't that your brothers? That's my sister. There's a little there's a little girl in the car. That's not my. Well, did you saying that's your sister? So I would suggest go over there. Man. A whole kid in the car. Man, let me talk to him first. Oh, Supervisor! 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 Baby, I can't breathe! Can you call the ambulance? Mommy, I'm gonna take her inside. Can you call 911 for me, please? I'm gonna take her inside. I can't breathe! Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back! Stay back. Right now. You want your bad numbers right here. You want your bad numbers. You want your bad numbers. What's your bad numbers? What's your name, sir? The ones that's doing it, we want their bad numbers. We want the names and bad numbers. Y'all got a problem. Look at y'all scrum, y'all got the Stay back! Look at Stay back! Stay back! Get on the curb. Yeah, about to break Get on the fuck. curb. Yeah, about to break her fuck. Hey, hey, yeah, hold on, find the door. Yo. I don't care. Stay back. Stay back. Get I on the curb. Care. Boss, get on the curb. Yeah, close the fuck. I'm not going to tell you one more time. Stay on the curb. What you mean? I, just, I got him on tape. What you talking about? I don't care. I'm not going to stop yelling none of that. Y'all going to hear me today. Put that shit down. That's what I said. out of here. Yeah, car coming up. Hang on the, the uh, crowd on the west side. Pull right up. Y'all hurry, hurry. Put her in the ambulance. Put her in the ambulance. So stop. So stop them. Put her in the ambulance. Put her in the ambulance. Put her in the ambulance. Driving the car away with her daughter in it. Smart. Smart. She's scared. Look at how much of y'all to her. What do you mean? Yo, what the f is you doing here? She's going to the ambulance, guys. 
It is absolutely absurd to believe that Karen would act in such a manner, with her young child witnessing everything from the rear seat. Thankfully, the car was towed away, and Karen, who miraculously suffered no injuries, was transported to the hospital for assessment. She was subsequently apprehended on charges of obstructing law enforcement and displaying reckless disregard for the safety of others during the chaotic situation. However, here's where things take an unexpected turn. The male passenger in Karen's car took custody of the child and departed. As it turns out, this very same male passenger was later identified as the individual involved in a previous shooting incident in which Karen's vehicle was identified, information that authorities only discovered after he had already fled from the scene. Most likely, either Karen or her male passenger reported the car as having been stolen even though it wasn't so that they could pin the shooting incident on some fictional car thief. In a wacky turn of events on May 16, 2023, the police were called to handle a wild domestic dispute. As they rolled up to the scene, they spotted the mysterious Karen causing all the commotion and cautiously approached her. But oh boy, this Karen wasn't exactly thrilled about spilling the beans to the cops. She continued to act all loopy and unpredictable, even when the officers were desperately trying to bring some zen into the situation. This is how the situation unfolded. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am. No, it's okay. I'm, you're not in trouble. I just want to talk to you, ma'am. Is that okay? I just want to make sure everything's all right. We can talk under the shade, ma'am. It's okay. You're not in trouble whatsoever. You can put your bags on, ma'am. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Officer Pagan with the Police Department. Yeah, we made contact with her right there on Solano and Plain Street. Okay. You don't have any weapons on you? No. Okay. No, you're okay. You can leave it on. So, I'm Officer Pagan with the Las Cruces Police Department. Um, reason I'm here is I guess you just had a little argument over there at your house. Is everything okay? Yes. Central 938. So, what happened? Nothing. She just walked in and she got mad at me. Who walked in? My mom. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's oh, okay. It. So, it's just you and your mom? Yes. My grandpa's not there. He's at work. I'm about to go work with him right now. Well, not work with him, but I was going to go talk to him. But I don't know if he's like there, but I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm I know. I know. We just want to make sure. So, what was the argument about with your mom? Nothing, sir. I, nothing. It's nothing wrong. I'm okay. Okay. Well, I'm just going to get your information now. So, uh, what's your first and last name? Alright, you know, my dad, I can't get a hold of him because it's not calling him and he's going to have to come home from work and see this. Because I have to go to work, you know? I understand, ma'am. And she, he needs to, she won't abandon him with her. She can't come home there anymore. Okay, so... She's just violent and crazy. Okay, and how long has she been living here, ma'am? Well, uh, she doesn't live here. She lives with her boyfriend. Oh, okay, so she was just staying at your house for like a little Yeah, no, she, she just came. My dad will let her come here sometimes to shower or to eat, and that's it. You don't let her stay there. Ms. Campos, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, sir. Please. I'm okay. I just don't want to be there with her. I understand. <laughs> We're just going to conduct our investigation and then just figure out what's going on, okay? I'm okay. That's, that's okay. And what's a good number to reach you, Ms. Campos? 
Five, when was the last time she did live here, though? Um, it's been a long time. It's been probably like five or six years. Would you like your trespass from the property? Okay, so the only thing with them, the only thing with them, uh, if she's trespassed from the property, you guys cannot allow her back for any reason and yeah. violate that trespassing because yeah. then she can get arrested. Yeah, good. We need to do that because it's Would getting be bad. Sweet? She's broken the windows before to get in. Okay. All she does is steal from us and rip us off, and it's awful. A nightmare okay. we have to deal with. Cause she's bad on the drugs. She doesn't want to stop. We've tried helping her. Okay. She won't Let me accept go and the office. But do you need any medical attention? No. Sir. No. You feeling all right? Yes, okay. We're just here trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. You want to tell me what happened? Nothing happened. No? I just left. That's yes. all. Okay. Who is uh? Who's at home? Nobody. She keeps going back and forth, and I don't know why. I just got out the shower. Okay. Who's she? Mom. Yes. Okay. Are you okay, Lamont? Did it ever become physical? Yeah, I'm okay. I just wanted to see if I could get like a little card or something so I could yeah. show my boss and well, prove that, you know, I that's why I'm a little late. I don't got to be there till 3, so I still have a little bit of time. Okay, let me just go and get forward. I'm going to be surprised if she's going crazy right now because she does that. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, she broke your window too, man. Oh, or is that, that was like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was like Okay, so let me see the photos, man. Okay. Just calm down for me. We're just we're just trying to figure out what's going on, okay? I'll go ahead. Okay, relax. <laughs> you're alright, you're alright. And it never became physical between you and her today, man? No, because I got here and right away I saw, I'm calling the police. And I was calling the police. She stopped and she just got the door and slammed it. And she was yelling all the way from she was way down, I could hear her yelling. Correct. Has she taken anything today? I don't know, she probably did. She always takes, she'll take her, like, her soap or shampoo. You know, she'll sometimes take food. She just rip us off like nothing, you know? He just left? She didn't kick you out? Yeah. What are you guys arguing about? Nothing. Nothing? I don't know. We're just fighting. That's it. You just want to be there or what? No. Okay, so since she doesn't live here and she's not a household member, mm -hmm. would you like to pursue charges for the criminal damage to property? Yes. Okay, let me just gather your information. She does this all the time. She thinks it's okay because her boyfriend allows her to be that way. Oh, you didn't tell her? You just left? You didn't tell her anything? Uh, no, what are you? Uh, no, why did you? Uh, What's going on? Trying to make sure you're okay, Ariel. I'm okay, and my foot can well, free, be free to go on. Why do you keep crying then? Because of why'd you guys stop me for? You guys were supposed to go to the house. Why do you guys stop me for? She called you guys to go talk to her. Ooh. Ooh. So what else happened, Ariel? Nothing else happened! Okay, how long have you been living there for? They're, they're talking to mom right now, right? trying to talk to you, okay? You can't leave yet. Get away from me! Step a little back! I'm not even by you. 
Take Ariel. I didn't take nothing. What the hell are you talking why about? Are you, why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like nothing. I'm My mom close. called you to go to 23 months of this stuff. Someone's why over there. Why did already. you stop me? Because we saw you and someone else is over there already. Well, nobody is over there. I just, just walked over from there. over there. They just went over there right now. I just walked from over there. Well, they just went over I'm there. I'm not right stupid. Now. Did I say that? I'm in a military and I'm in a marine. I am not the one! Quit looking at me like I'm a cat, dog! Oh my god, you guys are scaring me, stop! Get up, come on. I'll help you up. Come on. Are you injured anywhere? Where do you want to sit, Ariel? Let's have a seat for now. We're gonna have fire uh, come check on you, okay? Watch your step. Step up, face that car. Move your feet apart. You have nothing on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? Uh, no. no? Uh, hey, you got that bag? That bag's bag? You put it right there. Money? Money in the bag. Is that another bag? Yeah. She's good. Yeah. Want to have a seat? She just has a couple bracelets on. Okay, what's in here? Yeah, check that first. Search incident and stuff like that too, so that way you know if you search versus attack now and stuff. Nails. Nails. Oh no. Step out from here quick. Alright, watch your step. It's gonna be dark for just a second. Alright. As soon as I get the vehicle on, the lights will kick on, okay? Go ahead and have a seat, doesn't matter which side. Oh boy, Karen was like a walking trouble magnet. Not only did she have an outstanding warrant, but she also decided to spice things up by throwing in some battery on a police officer, resisting arrest, and even some criminal damage to property. Talk about an overachiever in the world of mischief. Get in the car. 
car. We're trying to see you now. Get in the car. <laughs> but you gotta sit still, all right? <laughs> In Western Florida, on the fateful day of February 9, 2022, the police were summoned to a chaotic collision caused by a potentially intoxicated driver. As they approached the scene, they were met with quite the spectacle, a Karen who seemed to have lost all sense of coherence. It was as if she had entered a realm where language failed her and her behavior resembled that of an unpredictable volcano. And to top it off, she appeared blissfully ignorant of the entire accident that had just unfolded before her very eyes, which were probably closed. Here's how everything went down. Man, what's going on today? No, I was just Spanish. You were what? Spanish. Okay. Could you, you think you could do me? I'm gonna come talk to you in a couple of minutes just to get some more information. You think you think you could sit at the back of the? Thank you. You think you could sit at the back of the? All right, that's enough. You think you could sit at the back of the rescue for me, please? Or stand right here for five minutes? That's fine. I'm gonna come back and talk to you. Okay. Okay. Can you guys just take her in there for a minute? He keeps trying to run out on us. We'll, we'll put All right. Wherever you want. What's your name? Can you can you sit over there, please, for a minute? Puedes sentar ahí, por favor. Vamos a sentarte en el en el rescue, okay? Vamos. No, nada más para aguantarlo por un poquitito. Ya. Yeah. ¿Tú puedes hablar conmigo, por favor? ¿Inglés o español? ¿English o Spanish? Lo que sea. Lo que sea. Ok. ¿Puedes hablar en inglés? Es más mejor. Am I gonna make you feel better? Mm -hmm. Why, you feel bad? Of course. Oh, okay. That, that's fine, you can stop touching me. Um, so, the uh, CSA over there is done with his accident investigation. I'm deputy, I'm with the sheriff's office, deputy. I'm now conducting a DUI investigation. Okay? Well, we, we're noticing some things on you, so I'm gonna conduct an investigation. All right, have you had anything to drink today? Just, no, have you? No. No? Okay, would you be willing to conduct some exercises for me? Absolutely. You would? Oh. Okay. Why not? All right. That's, if, if you could, you could put your phone down just so you could pay attention to what I'm telling you. Okay. Sorry. So, I'm going to conduct a series of exercises, okay? Absolutely, yes. All right, the first exercise is called uh, the horizontal gaze of Stagnus. Okay? So basically what you're going to do is, you're going to follow my finger with both your hands and feet together. Okay? And my arm. Huh? Nice. Hands and feet at your side. At your side. Like this. Like this. Do you see what I'm doing? Like this. Like this. Yes. You're, you're not doing that. It's just a starting position, can you? Humor me for a second. Okay. So follow my finger with your eyes. Let me step down a little bit. You wanna back up a little bit, please? So that way we're not so close. All right, so just follow my, follow the top of my finger with your eyes, okay? Yes, Don't move your head, just your eyes, all right? You understand? Absolutely. Just your eyes. Not, don't move your head. Right, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go up and down, okay? Keep on following it with your eyes. All right, you can take a second to take a break, loosen up, all right? You want to do the next one? Yeah. Okay. Let's use... Does he have it blocked? Yeah, that blocked. Okay. Let's use this line right here. Can you come over here real quick? Actually, stand right there. I'm going to demonstrate it first before I uh, before I have you do it. Okay. Well, I have to, I have to show you what you're. I, I have to show you what you're doing first before. Okay. So, this next exercise is called the walk and turn. Okay. I, I have to I have to go through it. Okay. This next exercise is called the walk and turn. All right. It's going to look like this. You're going to put your left foot on the line. Okay. Your right foot in front. No spaces or gaps. Toes touching heel. Yes. With your hands at your side, all right? You're going to take nine heel-to-toe steps forward, do a series of small steps, 
and take nine heel to toe yes. steps back. No, wait, I'm not. I'm not done explaining it to you. I know. Can you can you watch me before you try to attempt it? Let me. I'm just done with it. I haven't I haven't yes. finished showing you the exercise yet. Okay. You are, you are telling me why I have been really. Do you not do you, do you not want to do the exercises? I just have been. Are, are you refusing to do the exercises? No. Okay, then let me ex finish explaining it to you, and then you'll have a chance to show it. Okay? I am very... So you're going to take nine heel to toe steps forward, okay. do a series of small steps, and take nine heel to toe steps back. All right? And you're going to count the steps out loud. Do you understand? No. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. I am now going to demonstrate it. Hands at your side, left foot on the line, right foot in front. Yes. One, yes. two. Oh, no, I haven't finished demonstrating the exercise. Okay. I want to be done with it. I want to go. I haven't it. finished demonstrating the exercise. As soon as I finish demonstrating it, pay attention to him. You will be able to. Fit. You're not going to go home right now. As soon as I finish demonstrating it, I'm going to give you the chance to do it, and then we'll continue. Okay. All right, can you stand over there while I, while I finish? Can you stand over here, please? Can you please stand there? Okay? Please. I'm trying to demonstrate the exercise to you, and you're falling over. Okay? Can you please? Pay attention to everything he says. If you do one thing incorrectly, the whole thing is wrong. So if he tells you to put your hands at your side, when they're, they have to be at your side. Just, Otherwise, anything else you that's, do, that's fine, it's fine, Joe. It's fine. I just need you to understand what I'm trying to tell you to do. If you don't listen, you're not. I, I, I don't think I'm giving you a fair enough chance to understand what I'm doing. I want to give you a fair chance, all right? Just watch what I do, and then you'll have your chance to do it, okay? Huh? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, but you'll go to nine, but you'll go to nine, all right? You'll pivot, take a series of small steps, Put your foot back on the line. Okay. One, two, three, four, but you'll go to nine. Do you understand? Yeah. Are you ready? All right, you may begin when you're ready. Nine, two, three, four, five. Okay, right. Okay. You're finished? All right. Last exercise. All right? It's called the one leg stand. All right? Something like that. Not quite. So. I'm not driving. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. But again, you have to pay attention to what I'm trying to explain to you. So that way you have a good chance at doing the exercise correctly. All right, if I don't explain it to you and you don't know what you're going to do, you're going to completely do it wrong. And I want to make sure you have a, a chance of doing it right. Okay? I wanna, I'm trying to give you the benefit I'm of the doubt here. Huh? I'm doing it now. Okay. Can, can you watch me do the exercise and then you do it? Can you just... Fuck you. Okay. So this exercise is called the one leg stand. All right? Basically what you're going to do is you're going to put both your hands and feet together. No spaces or gaps. All right? Wh whichever foot you're choosing... All right, um, are you refusing to do the exercise? No. Okay, then oh, do me sense. a favor. Let me finish what I am doing, and yes. then you'll be able to talk. Let me finish what I'm doing, all right? Because if you don't let me finish what I'm, listen to me. If you don't let me finish what I'm telling you to do, and you don't give, and you don't do the exercises, and you don't dispel my worries, all right, I'm just gonna take you straight to jail. I won't even give you a chance to do it, okay? You, you're, you're done with the exercises. You don't wanna do them anymore. All right, then let me show you. Stay quiet for two minutes, so that way you have a chance to do it. All right, and then you could do it. All right. Stop. Stop the exercise. Is that what you're saying? You want me to stop? You don't want to do it? Because if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I'll just take you straight to jail. So you want to finish the exercise? You want to give yourself an opportunity to dispel my my disbeliefs? Okay. So whichever foot you're choosing, watch all right, ma'am, ma'am, look at me, ma'am, look at me. Whichever foot you're choosing, all right, you're gonna lift it up six inches off the ground like this, 
about the size of a Coke can, pretty much. Looking at your foot, all right, with both of your hands at your sides, all right, you're going to count like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, until I tell you to stop. Okay? Do you understand it or would you like me to explain it again? No. Okay. Do you have the, like a stopwatch? Uh, I'm not done yet. Uh -huh. Hold on, we're not starting yet. We're not starting yet. Why? Go over there. You Ma you come over Wait, here. Don't touch me. Okay, come over here. Why do you that? Uh, I don't know. You got your phone? I'm sure it's on. Oh. Yeah. Just go to the stopwatch and then. I haven't asked you to begin yet. He doesn't even know how to do it. You know that? Listen. Stand there, okay? Listen, Listen what? Listen. What? Yeah. I know what. Talking about. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right, you may begin when you're ready. You may begin. You may begin. You may begin. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's it. All right, last exercise, look at him. Look at him, put your hands at your side. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Yes, me. Mm -mm. No. Why? Me. Can you no. ask for a female for a pat down real quick? Uh oh, I want, I need. Uh oh, I'm gonna call my friends. No, I'll lock no. it, Fondez. No, 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 no. Go. Oh. Go. Oh. Thank you. I am not, do not get out of the car. Stay in the car. Okay, do not get out of the car. Stay in the car. I promise that if you give us a hard time, all right, it's not gonna be well. I, right. I, I, I have a lawyer. Alright, put her inside, just roll her window down. Alright. Get inside the car. Do me Get inside the car. Get inside the car. Don't. Hold on. Dude. Don't kick me. Kick me. Okay, you just got another charge for battery and a law enforcement officer. Get in the car. Ah. Get in the car. He's trying to see you now. Get in the car. Aye. Get in the car. You just kicked him, you just caught another charge. Close. Move your foot. Go we'll talk to him over there. Joe. Move your foot. 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 Why? Move your foot. Move your foot. Move your foot. I am. Move your foot. Move your foot. Move your foot. You want me to grab it from the other side? Tony, move your foot over. Move your foot back in. Pull her, pull her. Oh my God. Hey. Hey, You need to sit still. Stop hitting yourself. You gotta sit no, still, okay. alright? Okay, okay, I know he's your hey, husband. Babe. But you gotta sit still, alright? Babe! Babe! Hey, you gotta sit still, okay? You're gonna get a citation for following too closely for the accident, okay? You got into an accident. You don't remember the accident? Yeah. Like I said, you're under arrest. You're under arrest for DUI and bat on a Leo. Okay? All right. Pauline, listen to what I'm telling you. All right? It's nice to have you here. It doesn't matter. Okay, see? Let me get... Get me. This thing is... Actually, what course of time are you doing? I'm going to catch you down real quick, okay? He's fine, Papa. He's fine. Alright, I'm going to catch you down real quick. Touch me. Oh, yeah. All the way. Oh, I'm not seeing it. No. It's this thing. Get this thing. Oh.
In the end, Karen was charged with battery on an officer, resisting arrest without violence, and driving under the influence, thus completing the Karen trifecta. So how are you going to tell me how I feel? You can't Ms. tell me that I'm drunk. Miss Austin, listen. They, with you, that's... Unfortunately, they could, they could deny you the flight, all right? But you you are intoxicated. Because you're, you're visibly intoxicated, okay? How? So... I'm not like this. Like, how? In a humorous turn of events on April 11th, 2021, frustrated passengers at the Orlando airport endured an excruciating seven plus hour delay for their flight bound for New York's LaGuardia Airport. Amidst this chaos, one particularly irate Karen decided to cope with the situation by indulging in some drinks at a nearby bar. However, her coping mechanism took an unexpected turn as she became noticeably intoxicated. When the time finally came for boarding, Karen's intoxicated state caught the attention of airline staff, who promptly denied her entry into the plane. This only served to further fuel her anger and frustration. Surprisingly though, instead of escalating the situation, the airline took a rather unconventional approach. They decided to refund Karen's ticket fee and kindly suggested that she seek an alternative means of transportation on another airline. As if this weren't amusing enough already, an on-duty officer was tasked with escorting her out of the airport premises. And here comes the punchline. This officer happened to be riding a bike. What followed can only be described as a slow speed chase through the terminal as our intoxicated protagonist hopped onto her trusty motorized luggage and led officer bike on duty on quite an unusual pursuit. Excuse me, pardon. Oh no! That's what the drug did Where's this flight to? Oh. Yeah. Well, I didn't say nothing. No, I know. <laughs> I need everyone to take a step back. Last time, please. Take a step back, please. Respect the other person's space. Thank you. Let me yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please step away from the door. Please give them some space. Step away from the door. Thank you. Give them some space. Is everybody just... Woosa. Are we good here? Woosa. Are we good here? Yes. Okay, thank I think you. as long as I'm between you guys and them, <laughs> we'll be okay. We're all annoyed. Our flight was at 11 o'clock. 11. I know, I know. We're Crazy day. Annoyed. Lots of weather. What about it's not your fault. So, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I know. Fault. We just all want it's to get home. It's frustrating for everyone. They're on their last fuse. You guys are fed up. But they're getting paid for this. We're not. So, chill out. It is true. It is We're true. Gonna try this one more time, guys. I am going to family boarding. We paid for this. Two adults, her family. 
So other than this, Orlando is cool, right? You guys like Orlando? It's a lot of fun. Oh, okay. So you're leaving. All right. So we'll be visiting my mother-in-law. Yeah. You live here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Us too. Yeah. <laughs> I moved a lot of places. I do like Florida the most, though. A little biased. We just want to have a good spring break. There you go. So you're leaving for spring break. See, most people are going back from. No, it's because we're paying for a night. So right now we're being charged for no reason. We're not even there yet. We're being I see. Three hundred dollars a night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're college students. We're broke. Rates like, are it's up. Not, it's not. Wait, what about this one? Yeah, what is this? I think they're Relax. You guys all have boarding passes, right? You'll all get on the plane. You all got boarding passes. The plane leaves at the same time. Doesn't really matter when, who gets Thank on it, you, right? We're just so annoyed because, like, the bartender didn't want to serve us, and we're sober as and he yeah. said no to us. Like, bro, we've been here since 11 o'clock, and you don't want to serve us? We're pissed. Did no, you no. come at him like, bro, no. though? No. <laughs> no. Definitely not. We're okay. Nice. They didn't even All right. have one drink, and he, you know what he said? I didn't think we can't serve you anymore. We're like, bro, we had one drink. Mm. Do I look drunk to you? No, I'm sober as I got you. I'm I got pissed. you. I can't even have a fucking drink. I'm 24 years old. I look 12, but still. Yeah. I'm 17. Yeah. Yo, yo. <laughs> I need everyone in that family borderline, please step back and respect the person's privacy. Just give a little, just give a little space. I know. God, I remember though, you know, like, talk about who holds the cards though, right? Yeah. She holding the cards, she got the plane. So let's, let's relax. They don't do well, you know, crowds and people. Today's been a kind of hectic day for them. She might need to you know, take a break after this or something. She need a drink. Maybe she already has. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> They figure it out quickly. What is she saying? I don't know. Like I said, it's all gonna leave at the same time, right? So. What is it? What is she saying? Oh, they didn't have the boarding passes. Yeah, that'd be a problem. That'd be a problem. <laughs> they must have lost it, you know, with the delay, I guess. Because you, I know they had it, or else you can't get to it through TSA, right? We only had eight hours to get them. I mean, no, more than that. Yeah. Well, you got to have it to get over here. The TSA won't let you through without a boarding pass, so. Yeah, but I don't get what the, why they... Yeah. Hey, it's all right. No, it's not, because I want to see what my kids, my grandkids... I got, like I said, the flight's going to leave at the same time no matter what, right? No, it's been too so. long. So, it's all right. Well, I mean, now that we've got to this point. Yeah, so yeah. this is my family right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so yeah. With Me too. I'll be in the middle seat between, like, a fat man and, like, a crime baby. Oh, no, I don't know what you're doing. They are not going to let you get by. And they're, they're, they're getting, they're getting them going. Oh my god. I'll never in my life try to feel like I'm a Be. Well, she originally called B, but I don't know what she was doing. We're getting. Say 50% of you guys have been boarded since I showed up, I think. Well, that's what it looks like. I'm 17. I can't believe it. I was just wondering if you could think you're Okay. B1 through 30, only please, B1 through 30. 
It's like bingo. Everybody's like. B one through thirty. B one through thirty. Come on. It's us. Thanks for showing up. Oh no problem. I didn't have a choice. No. <laughs> but but still. <laughs> I did you, you, you have a great night. Good flight, okay? Oh, that always happens when they get delayed. Always happens. You're doing good. You're doing great with me at the gate. But I, I'm looking around. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. You're like the sassy one. I'm, no, I'm just annoyed. I'm just even eleven. Just don't get sassy with them. Like you got flight. I think you're good. You're fine. You're fine. It's a big group. No worries. Well, God bless you, Andrew. Thank you. You gotta deal with bitches like me. <laughs> You're fine. I don't think you guys are an issue. Just uh, you know, keep calm with the, the flight attendants. You everything will be all right. How you doing? See that? But I've been here for hours. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, bad weather. Gotta do something, right? I don't know what we're gonna blame it on, but. Oh, watch out with your, uh, your, your whip there. Is it my time, miss? Olson? That's 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 a lawsuit. They can't tell me how I feel. Olson. So how are you gonna tell me how I feel? You can't Ms. tell me that I'm drunk. Miss Olson, I'm listen. Conversating they, with you. That's unfortunately, they could they could deny you the flight. All right, but you you are intoxicated. Fair? Cause you're you're visibly intoxicated. Okay. How? So I'm not like this. Like how? You, 
Ticket, they telling me that I can't get on the flight. Yeah, it's their decision, so there's really, like, I don't want to get into yo. it, you know? It's like y'all hold us back. What else are we supposed to do? They ain't tell me I can't go? That's my battery. Yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's their policy. You just can't be that intoxicated when you're flying a plane, okay? I'm not that intoxicated. Well, ac according to them, they are. So they drinks. made that decision. Okay. The amount of time, I only had two drinks. I got gotcha. you. Decide off of, I didn't only have two drinks. Well, if you're a parent, you get uh, pretty intoxicated off two drinks, then. So, like how I said, would you visibly, tell how I feel? it's not about how you feel, it's about how you, 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 you appear with the level of intoxication. How am I appearing? So, well, you're kind of swaying back and forth, your eyes are glassy, the alcohol is like emitting from you. You can tell you've been drinking for a while, okay? Like that because I have the cup in my hand. You don't, that's not in my body. No, no, even if you're without the cup, we can kind of tell, you know? You're, you're without the cup now. The cup's empty. Right, but then you still probably smell the whiskey here. I mean, I smell it coming from, like, when I was just talking to you. Okay. I was trying to get home. I'm tired of feeling so sad. Hey. Hey, I'll say it's okay. Like you just need to, you see, like go over to the terminal, sober up for a little bit, get another flight. Well, the weather's getting better though. The weather's getting better now. I gotcha. Like, I just want to go home. I'm not that intoxicated. Plus, y'all to tell me I can't go home. Right. I'm gonna sit there and fall asleep and go home. So what's the issue? How could you tell me that I'm not good enough to go home when I'm waiting for hours? Has nothing to do with being good enough. No one's saying you're not good enough. They're saying you're, you're a little, to little too intoxicated. I'm not too intoxicated to go home. The f came to the airport to go home, sir. Okay. I'm not. I'm telling you, I'm not. So if y'all think that, it's not true. And as some things I'm making true, I'm not. I'm not. I promise. I swear right. to God. Right, I understand. It's a, it's a decision that they I'm made, okay? Responsibly by myself. Okay. It's the way I think I feel. I'm being irresponsibly by myself. That's not responsible. You're like you're they ready to go. You got your phone. Leave me. I've been waiting for hours. Is your sister going to stay with you? Can you call her real quick for me? She's already on the flight. Well, I don't want you to be alone. She's already hung up. You you want me to be alone? Cause she hung up. You and not let me on my flight. So There's nothing that stopped me from being on my flight. Man. It's awesome. Okay. Listen. There's nothing that stopped me from being on my flight. Let's I'm calm down. sober enough to be on my flight. Not, calm down. You're being denied boarding. I'm sorry. Hey. I, I didn't, this sorry. is my first time talking to you. I didn't say nothing disrespectful to you. No, you were Why you feel like it's not okay for me to get on my flight? You're a very nice young lady. So why do you feel like it's not okay for me to get on my flight? Because you're under the influence of alcohol. Once I know that and I'm made aware, you admitted to me that you have been that's drinking. That's not fair. Listen. And the fact that you're me saying people all these albums is not No one's fair. holding anything against you personally. It's just you're just a little, little too intoxicated, that's all. Uh, it's personal. I'm not intoxicated. I want to go home. It's, it's not personal, though. It's their I'm policies. And you cannot tell me that if you didn't verbalize me. So right. this is a little suit. Like, what? How could you tell me how I feel? Chelsea, you can take it from here however Yo, I want. swear to God, I gotta go to work. I need to go home. I gotta go to work. I understand, Chelsea. I gotta go home. I gotta go to work tonight. Like, y'all, I've been out of the beach. Can you calm down so this, this, this nice lady here can help you? Nah, I'm trying to let y'all know the discretion. I've been out to be home to go to work. The flight got delayed. Sorry. I need to go to work. I need to go home. I can't keep sitting around. I need to go home. Chelsea, man. no, no one could put you on this here flight. The only thing I could get you your flight is a little but bit of time. It's like you just stopped me from taking a flight because y'all overbooked. You're not stopping me. It's, cause, cause it's not because they're overbooked, sweetie. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. And, and this, that's not fair. Like, it's f up, yo. Chelsea, I know you're upset. Well, like, I was just saying by myself. And I've already been saying for hours. Listen up. I no, it's not you can tell me to make me feel better. It's not you can say, Tinker. They telling me I can't get on the flight with y'all. Chelsea, can you just calm down so she can explain? No, I can't calm down. Because you're not solving my issue right now. They want me to sit here by myself and wait for another flight. Sing it, that's not fair. That's grimy. That's not fair. They doing that because they think they think it. Y'all ain't saying no mm -hmm. verbal You can't tell me how I feel. No. That's f up, Tinker. That's f up, yo. Okay, no, I've been wanting to go home. That's the only thing I've been wanting to go home. That's f up. So. That's f up, yo. Can you put me on another airline? I can refund the ticket. Can you put me on another airline for today? Take a white airline nail. Because I ain't f***ing saying y'all f***ing complaining. Do you want a refund? Bitch, I need to go home. Bitch, you think I want a refund? Listen. No, y'all being disrespectful. Chelsea, Chelsea, calm down. You can't insult them.
Yeah, I assaulted me. I, I tried. Oh, we, they tried to, to get you to calm down. I was standing here all the time. So we're gonna refund her ticket. And she's denied. I don't want. I got you. I just wanna go home. I gonna do that. I trust. Here's what's gonna happen. They're they're giving you your money back. Okay, you don't have to do anything. They're gonna do that on their end. But to get you a flight now, you have to get back on the tram and head back to the terminal. Well, why would y'all do that to me? I didn't do nothing to nobody. That's not fair. I didn't do nothing to y'all. Why would y'all do that? The only reason why I was drinking is y'all, my flight was delayed and I just didn't want to be mad. But y'all making me mad right now. I didn't want to be mad as long as I was drinking. I didn't want to be mad. I, I understand, mad, Chelsea. I, you. I didn't want to be mad. That's what the point. But y'all making me mad. That's what y'all doing. That's what I was trying to stay away from. But okay. I had no other choice because that's what the fuck is. But look how y'all treating me right now. That's not fair. Okay. All right, Chelsea. So are, are you going to go back to the terminal? I don't know if I'm supposed to be going on. You, you have to to, to get another ticket. Thank you, Sabrina. Hey, somebody want to give me a refund and I can't get on my flight. And I, I was right here with Tinky and Renee. I had a few drinks at the bar, but I'm not that drunk. They're trying to tell me they know how I feel. How can they tell you they know how you feel? They give me a breath to lodge, you Nate. <laughs> so I say this whole time, I could have been figured out a new way to get home. Nay, they vibe. I don't know what to do, Nay, and I want to get my money back. And I ain't do nothing disrespectful to nobody, Nay. What I'm supposed to do? Yeah. And the only reason why I was drinking is I didn't want to disrespect nobody. I want to be happy. What I'm supposed to do now? Oh, yeah, that's Y'all f***ing violating me. I don't deserve that. All right, Chelsea. So here's all you gotta do. Either way. I understand that. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help you. Listen, you you keep you get you get frustrated, Chelsea, and then you and then you you hurl an insult. All right. I'm trying to help you, and and the insults are not uh they're not helping you. All right. I'm trying to help you figure out how to get another flight. This you were trying to help me, you would make sure I got home when the flight was to be on. So you're not trying to yeah, help I don't have any authority for that, okay? No, no, I'm not holding you back, okay? I'm I'm just helping you now. That's it. Just helping you. They told me I can't get on the phone, baby. But they just made me sick. They just made me sit down for hours. That was what I wanted to do. My sister was so good. Sure. They don't give a fuck. I'm not even that drunk. Hi, Tanya. This is Officer Ramona for Lionel Police Park. I only was drinking that. Okay, and you see, y'all forced me to see it. That's not fair. It's time. Yeah, I, I figured as much. I'm going to go and I'm playing the old man. That's not fair. I'm going to go. Right, Tanya. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Okay, so, so Tanya, let me explain. So let's just explain to you. So I work for the Orlando Police Department. I, I am not a representative of Southwest Airlines, but they've made the decision to not let her fly. And so now all she has to do is she just has to go back to the terminal, let time kind of sober her up a little bit, and then she can book the next flight to LaGuardia with any airline she wants but Southwest. That's right, but the only problem is she's like a little like disorderly kind of right now, and she doesn't want to just go to the terminal. If you could try to get her to just go to the terminal, she can kind of sober up and then get a flight with any other airline. And they, they're they going to refund her the money. they going to refund her the money? Yes, I think they already did. So all she has to do is go to the terminal. All right, here you go. It, it's your sister. She wants to talk to you. Here, wait, let her sister do it. See your sister come down. Sweet. She's got the money. She's got to get another flight. That's it. I'm just saying, that's what I I've been doing my time. I'm waiting. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't bothering nobody. I ain't doing nothing wrong. I ain't doing nothing, man. But I didn't do nothing wrong. They ain't bothering me. Because they don't got enough seats. I ain't doing nothing wrong. I ain't doing it the wrong. They have been sitting for hours and it's not even going to drink me. I got a window, so I got a bed window, something else to get home. I've been sitting for hours. Mm -hmm. That's not fair. Just can you listen to what? Can you listen to what your sister's saying? We need you to go to the terminal. Suck my. Suck my. Oh, I can suck my. Okay, Chelsea. Just, just go to the terminal. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll help see you out. You guys are good. We got almost the whole plan on.
<laughs> oh, yeah, no progress. Oh, man, that thing kind of goes fast. I think I'm faster, but we'll see. Just another day. Totally normal. Chelsea, look at me. Chelsea, look at me. Chelsea, I will, I will arrest you, Chelsea. I don't want to, but I will arrest you. If you arrest me for no reason, you will get sued. It's not for no reason. You have already violated the city ordinance of this orderly contact. You have talked in a tumultuous manner towards the public. You have caused multiple disturbances, and now you are refusing to leave a secured area of the Orlando International Airport. Chelsea, you will be arrested if you do not leave. Thank you. Chelsea, you have to keep walking straight. Ma'am, if you refuse to move, I will arrest you. Ma'am, you need to leave the secured area. Go ahead, you're talking to him. Go ahead, I'll let you talk to him. Please. She needs to she needs to get on the other side of TSA and I'll leave her alone. As long as you calm down and we don't get a lot of calls. Let's hang out. If she doesn't start moving, she's going to be 10 15. 187. Yep. Chelsea, listen. All you need to do is calm down. Chelsea, all you need to do is calm down. Chelsea, things are escalating. I don't want things to escalate. This man's really trying to help you, Chelsea. We're all trying to help you, as a matter of fact. 
Hey, are you trying to get That's over 200,000 I appreciate it, sir, but some people are just no people. Even though we missed out on the epic video, Karen got herself into quite a pickle and ended up getting busted for assaulting a cop and wrecking a police car. And get this, she even went so far as to rip the upholstery and drop a little number two surprise in there. Can you believe it? Now she's playing innocent, but Karen conveniently left all the proof they needed in the police car. Classic Karen move, right? I was trying to go see the kids and he grabbed me and he pulled um, on my shirt. Where at? On my arm, uh, he grabbed my arm. What's what's the uh, blood on your hand from? That's uh, because he grabbed me and I was trying to pull him away, so I, I hit him. So she went, she went after you, yeah, and, he, he, and that's when he, he yeah, uh, he was trying to restrain her and keep her from getting to the new girlfriend. Okay. And at that point, I saw her coming I mean, to start. In a bizarre twist of events, on July 3rd, 2023, the cops were summoned to referee a wild showdown between a feisty lady, her soon-to-be ex-hubby, and his new girlfriend. The woman claimed that her estranged spouse and his fresh squeeze were keeping her from seeing her children, going as far as physically restraining her when she dared to get close to one of her children. But hold on tight, because the ex-hubby and his new girlfriend had an entirely different tale to tell. And it turns out that other people were watching the situation play out. Here's how things unfolded. Hi. I haven't seen my kids in three weeks and I came here to see them. And my husband will not let me see my kids. I called because I, I had something. I was going to return to my husband and I rang the doorbell and they weren't there. And then I went to go see my other kids and he won't let me. And he came after me and grabbed me. I was trying to see my kids. That's all yeah. I wanted. Which, which one? This your, one over okay. here. He has a felony on his record too. He almost killed me a couple okay. months ago. Okay. He's telling. He's 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 got my daughter. Yes, this he's. Is your daughter? I gave my daughter a phone so she could have it when she was here to communicate through with my name, okay. and he took it, and he won't let her have any communication. And he told me that he didn't want me to have the address to this house. Okay. How did you're saying he he grabbed you? How did he grab you? I was trying to go see the kids, and he grabbed me, and he pulled. Where? Um, on my shirt, on my arm, uh, he grabbed my arms and he was holding me really tight and he wouldn't let me go near my kids. Okay. And just now or? Just before you guys got here. I called you guys first because I'm trying to see my kids and no matter how many times I ask my kids. Okay, do, do you all have a custody agreement? No, or? there's no custody. We have, I have an injunction on him. Okay. I have an injunction on him, which he already violated yesterday by coming in my house. Okay. And I have the court date on the 11th at 9 a.m., but nothing that I have done with the police where I live, they, will, they won't help me. Right. So, this, uh, custody and everything is a civil issue. Right, it's we a civil, which I have to go to the state attorney on, on Wednesday when you guys are open. Yes, but I can't even get him to let me see my children. If you let me, I'll show you. I have this. I have, he, wanted his, he wanted his stuff back from the house, and I was bringing this over to him. I was bringing this over to you. Hey, stay over, stay over here with me. Stay over here with me. I'm sorry. Come on. We're not. I was not, bringing that gonna... to him so he could have it back because okay. he wanted it back. And all I want to do is see my kids. I wasn't trying to cause any problems. How many children do you have? Together? I have four, and okay. I have one on the way. Okay. And I'm I'm destitute. I have nothing at my house because he's taken everything, and now he's living in a big house with his girlfriend, and he won't let me see my kids. This is you guys' house together? No, this is him or? and his girlfriend's house. Oh, okay. he's, he's, he's already has a girlfriend and, and has my kids, and he won't let me see them because of them two are working together, so I can't see my kids. I get. I understand that. Un unfortunately, the court system's going to have to deal with that. I, is there any way I, I can just see my kids? I just want I, I to see can't, them. I can't force him to do that. I mean, I one of them's seen. right here, correct? Is she? Can she come home with me if she wants? Please. Because I don't want to be she's 14, anymore. almost 15, the court. I, I don't have any. DCF, I'm to go home DCF said that she's old enough to make if, that decision. Well, yeah. I have to get my stuff. Go I, get your stuff. I can't yes and no. I mean, it's it is it'll it'll. I know be there's a fine line in the in the court system when you go for a, your divorce, your custody hearing, whatever yes. the case may be. She will have an opportunity to testify in that civil hearing. 
the judge will take what she says into consideration, yes. most likely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have an ID on? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. I, I'll. I'll give don't it. don't engage with yes, your husband sir. anymore. I'll give you whatever you want. I don't have a record. I, no, I just I just yes, got to run sir, you to, to say who you. I'm out with. That's all. That's just what's me. what's the uh, blood on your hand from? That's there. because he grabbed me and I was trying to pull him away, so I, I hit him because. I, I was trying to get away and he did this to me in April. I don't want I don't want to press charges. I don't want to do anything. All I want is to see well, my kids. If if that's your husband, if you're still married, I don't need your cooperation to press charges. The state will become the victim in a domestic violence situation. Right. Okay. I, I'm gonna we're gonna continue uh, an investigation yes, here. Yes, sir. And then we'll we'll act accordingly yes, based sir. on what we find. Yes, okay. Sir. Come on back here to the back of the van. Yes, sir. Me. Let's just hang out here. We'll, yes, sir. We'll try to, I'm, I'm we'll, not we'll, trying to cause any problems. No, you're, you're I just fine. Want to see my kid. Absolutely. I, I understand. If you Echo to 62 Eustace, Florida DL for the wife. Angela Courtney Berkland. Who does jujitsu? I do. I do it at uh, Mount Dora BJJ. That's where I go. Really? Yeah. Annie and David? Yep. Well, they're amazing. Yeah. I, uh, I would have had my purple belt four years ago, but I kind of went on and off. I would be a brown belt by now. but Yeah, I, <laughs> Coach David likes to rub that in my face. thought it would have been a purple belt. 26, thank you. Yeah, I'm just uh, I'm a white with two stripes right now. Oh, I have Working. one stripe. I have one stripe. No, I have two stripes, but I had to wash my belt because my dog got it dirty and if it stinks, then I will wash my belt. There you go. I wasn't trying to cause any problems, sir. I just that's okay. Just, Listen, this this is like I said, this is a civil issue. Yes, sir. So there's there's nothing we can do for you. I, we, that, I understand. We that's come out to these to attempt to de-escalate the situation and see if we can get any sort of cooperation for the. For the I betterment just, of everyone involved. I just, I just want to see my kids and hug them. And, I understand. And that's all I want. And Un I can't unfortunately, you may have to wait till your court date and stuff like that. I'm just all by myself at home now without my children, and it's it. very hard with a quiet house. Sure. Um, so, um, you guys don't. So, when when did you two split up? Uh, when did late you, March. And you, you left at that time? He, or I kicked him out of the house. Were you... You, you can go inside the van. I need to get her stuff if that's possible. Um, um, or not. It, it may not be possible. That's okay. You'll just come home. They're, they're, um, they're, they're her roommate's coming. They let me in. And then when I get my stuff, I'll take it. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I understand. Why don't you go sit in the AC? It's um, unfortunate that children are used as pawns in divorce, and we can't it be is. civil without we, having to go through the court system. Well, you know what? I I always advise to go through the court system. That way, there's documentation. I have. I have a lot. I actually have a case. Um, um, I had family raise $8,000 for me to help get me back on my feet to get tires and gas and food and my bank froze it and I've been having nothing but issues with my social security number and my credit. It's just like... Do you work? I've been trying to find a job. I've applied so many what do you, places. What do you do? I like to do furniture. I, um, I have my own furniture business, but I don't have the money to buy the supplies that I need right now. Okay. Um, I, I cannot actually, people will bring me furniture that they want me to review. Oh, so you restore I furniture I restore furniture and, okay. and repurpose it. He has it. my phone in his car. Okay. But uh, it's my favorite thing to do. So okay. um, I, I'm thinking about maybe getting a job at a nursery because you don't have to be around a lot of people. And I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a big crowd kind of person. Gotcha. So I'm trying to get on my feet, but it's like every single time it's like a dead end, a dead end, a dead end. And, and he's left me destitute, and I, I'm trying. It's just... Um, One foot in front of the other, it'll, it'll work out eventually. Yeah, eventually. 
I know. That's the things you got. You got kids, so you don't have the and option I, of getting I'm up. a good. I'm a good mom. I've always been there for my children, and I just want what's best for everybody. Sure. And I don't. That's all you can ask for. I don't mind shared custody, but you can't just keep your children from me. Sure. So. Um, well, I, I would, my advice to you would just be to document okay. uh, every every time you call or, or whatever the case may be, you show up, you try to see your kids and he says no, just document it, uh, date and time. Um, if, if you have a phone, you know, videotape it, walking up, ring the doorbell, whatever the case may be, that, that way it is documented when you, when you go into court, you, yes, you present what you have, he'll present whatever he has, and, yes, and then, you know, the judge will make a, a decision based on the totality of the circumstances. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I oh, really you're appreciate very welcome. it. I, I'm, I'm, uh, hey, I'm here to help. I didn't mean to cause any neighborhood drama. No, they say, well, we'll all see, and then it's, we'll see, I'm making, I'm, I'm with my girlfriend. Sure. Okay, well, what about... Hey. You have no custody paperwork. No. I, mean, there's... I, have a, I have a legal aid coming to my house on, what's today? Today's Monday. Tuesday, tomorrow morning. <laughs> I feel on like the 4th of July. Wait. <laughs> is it the 4th of July? Today's yeah, the she third, might be yeah. coming tomorrow. I don't wow. know if she said Tuesday. I don't care um, if she wants to come on a holiday. It's not like I got any fireworks to money to blow up. Right. Even though I love the 4th of July. It's my favorite holiday. Yeah. If I don't get to see my kids, then I don't get to see my kids. But I just wanted to make sure that they were okay, and I wanted to see them, and that's all I wanted. Well, if um, in the future, if you're worried about them, you can call us. I have. And we can do a well-being check on them. Oh, you can? Yep. Okay. We will come over here. We'll put eyes on them. And okay, and somebody will go in it. and check on them? Yep. Okay, okay. I just, I just have my intuition sometimes. I just... Some, feel like things are going to go bad. Sure. Which is, he said he Listen, did. I, I get it, but that's their father. I, I don't I don't yeah. know what kind of parents you guys are. I don't know. Before um, I decided that I wanted to divorce, things were fine because he was in control. But the minute I left, he, he lost it and he couldn't stand that I decided to leave him. So this um, is my punishment. Yeah, so the, the, you know what the court system will work that out for you, and then you'll get a you'll get a paperwork that, that tells you when you get them, when he gets them, and Thank all you. that stuff. Thank you, sir. And if you're if you're worried about anything, address it in the court. Okay. If you want to meet somewhere in public, like at the Eustis Police Department, to exchange the children when it's time to exchange. Have that written in the paperwork. Okay. If he doesn't show up, you document it. If okay. you don't show up, he documents it. Stuff like that. You yes, know. sir. It'll, Thank you. It'll all work out in the end. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. How old are your four kids? 14, 10, junior will be 11. So 9, 10, 14, and one and a half. Oh, wow. And then I have one on the way. So so. Is that also his or no it okay. was a mistake huh. I, was, uh, I'm, I got you yeah. sir all right give me a moment yes, sir. um i don't know if you want to talk to them he got battered by her she got battered by him too she said they have video and He's got a scratch mark on his neck. Yeah. He's, 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 she's, she's got, she's got she, blood on her knuckle from, he, she says he wrapped her up and yeah, wouldn't let she her go. Was, she didn't tell you the story. Is she was trying to batter his girlfriend. That's why he was holding her down. Ah. Yeah. So, they were just walking home from the park, the park inside the subdivision. Mm -hmm. She perked, she, the 14-year-old daughter, Told the mom where the girlfriend. This is the girlfriend's house. Yes. The male half was in Claremont. Oh, okay. So she. I don't know why she's part of that. Like where did she go? Ten point nine two. While they were walking home from the park, she said something in the lines of like, "I'm gonna kill you." Charged at the girlfriend. The male half got in front of the girlfriend, so she wouldn't get battered. And that's when the boy, the male. The husband started holding her down. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
that the video obviously shows that he's holding her down, gotcha. and you see the girl, the ex-wife going like that, trying to get away because oh. she's trying to attack the girlfriend oh, of the male okay. half right now. That's they why wanna, she has a mark on her. They want to press charge. Or, oh, a mess. I, I know that, but she said, "Yeah, but, I okay. got right." I was going to say that the state still won't prosecute it if there's no victim cooperation. They said they won't. So, man, what happened to you? Famous. You want to speak? Sure. just pushed past and I'm coming back this way when we went to the park I shut the garage and I left the front door unlocked my roommate locked the door when she left so she's on her way back to let me into the house hello Hi. I'm the, trying the, to the like the older slender girl has been staying here no she stayed here last night okay but we've been trying to get her because something's wrong with mom okay. the DCF is trying to do a thorough more thorough mental evaluation because of the 30 40 pounds she's lost in the past There's few months nobody with her Either she's no, on she just told me to come over here. He was going to stay on there. This, but we don't know. <laughs> so she went. She went after you, and that's when he. Yeah, okay. and I had the video of it. Mm. We were walking back from the park, but the neighbors two doors down, they were walking back in front of us. They saw everything. Okay. So she was, she was coming after you. He stepped in front yes, of her. Yes, and the neighbor's two doors down can... They're... I think they're next to the Apopka okay. house. But she parked right in front of me. I'm trying to get through on this side of the house. And I try to get through the front door. My, neighbor, my roommate's gone. I live here. They don't live here. He visits on the weekends with his kids. I rent one of the rooms to a girl. Um, she's been here for a few months. <sighs> we just started dating a few months ago. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Ex issues. Yep. <laughs> yes, that's that's how it goes when you when you date somebody that's been with somebody else and has other children it's well there's something off it's a, sure something's off in this situation but you know i hope that she gets the help that she needs that's all i can say but i'm fine i have my cameras i'm just the only thing that i'm like stressed out about is that i can't get inside my house right now my roommate locked me out but is, are you guys Wishing to press charges on yes, her? Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she needs... Yeah. I'm gonna... Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, but this, again, okay. this is used to... Okay, so it's a different... Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're at somebody's house that doesn't belong to you or him. Right, exactly. So I just, I just want to see my kids. That's all I want to do. I, I, I okay. I mean, this just seems like it was a bad avenue in order. It was to a bad avenue, but I can't get it the Lake County seem Sheriff. Well thought out. You're right. It wasn't, but I have called the police so many times to help me, mm -hmm. and I can't get anywhere. Well, you haven't called the police. You're saying you've called the sheriff's office. Uh, I, like I like I said, I this, non -emergency this is a civil they, issue, so we're not going to be able to help you. The court system has to help they you They told with me this. to call the non-emergency number because they said I've called too well, much. Well, and we could have come out and done a well-being check. We, That's we our advisor of that. What you're I saying didn't know about that. Do. I didn't know about the well-being okay. check. I, I, I didn't know that was an mm -hmm. option. Well, so. the reason it is an option is to prevent things like this. Yes, sir. And I, it was a decision, but I just want to make sure my kids are okay because I haven't seen my other three in three weeks. Mm -hmm. So, and what reason would you think they were not okay? Um, I'm a very spiritual person, mm -hmm. and I have gut feelings. And most of the time, when most of the time when things happen, 
the egg normally does. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, if you I'm said you called 50 I, times, he, was anything wrong in any of those? He pulled a gun on me and my children okay, and almost but, killed us. But That's during those lie. 50 times... That's a lie. You weren't there. Uh, 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 were there ever any problems with those 50 times? He's put his hands on me. No, no. The 50 times you called for the 12 I haven't. I haven't called 50 times. It's people in my neighborhood calling. Mm -hmm. um, so they said that we've gotten 50 calls within the last late March, and I told them, I said, I haven't made all those calls. Right. So they pretty much shut me down and said that um, just better to deal with it in court, but it took me five times to file an injunction, so five times to finally get the last injunction to, to go through. So, um, and the only way I can see my kids is through the, the legal system, unfortunately, because this has become a nasty battle with the children. So, what made you think today would be any different? Um, I was reading my Bible, and God told me that to I need to pursue them down the just street. Check. No, I didn't even know. I just knocked on the door. Mm -hmm. I knocked on the door, and nobody was there. Right, I get that. And I didn't know where they were, so mm -hmm. I called the police. Mm -hmm. And by the time I was done off the phone, mm -hmm. my daughter comes running down the road, and I went towards them to say hi, and my husband grabbed me. Mm -hmm. And so, because he doesn't want me around the kids mm -hmm. at all. So, okay. um, that's what happened, and that's why they called the police. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to see my kids, that's all. My, my son is crying, he won't even let me see them. That's all I want. If I could just... Okay, well, none of your children are crying back there. I was just with all of them. Okay. They're all okay. doing perfectly fine, just so you know that. Okay. Who, who's taking this? You, him? Uh, I believe he is. Does he know I'm that? I'm not. I don't know. If, if he doesn't, I'll take it. No big deal. Okay. I don't, I don't have any issue did with... either of you... Who, who? Which one of you has taken this, and did you guys talk to that? I, I have not talked to them. I just showed up and brought her to the back of the van talked to her there. I can, that's a okay, new problem. Them. You added them, right? Okay. How are we doing, gentlemen? Doing well, how are you? <laughs> David Hoover. Hey, John Harrell. John Good Harrell, nice to meet you. Mike David Hoover. Mike, how are you doing? Good. What What did you guys see or... Um, Mike, you want to... He, I think he heard it first because they were down there. Okay. We apparently we were both back on our out on our back porch. He lives right there in that house. I live on the second one right behind him. So my dogs are going crazy, and my nephew looked out the window and he said, "Oh, his kids playing." I was like, oh, "Okay, no problem." And a little bit, not long after, kept hearing it escalating, escalating, and hearing you know, hoops and hollers and shouts and screaming. So I came out on my back porch and I saw that young lady and the gentleman kind of scuffing and her swinging and they're all screaming and. And, uh, this, young, this lady was trying to get the kids in the house and everything else. And so I told my nephew to go and get my phone and call you guys. And as he was going to get that, I saw John walking up. Okay. I knew John was in the dep deputy department. So I was like, well, I'm just going to walk with John to make sure he's okay. Okay. But and it just escalated. Let's around. relax. So. Same thing. I was out on the back porch, green cog, and I heard a lot of screaming stuff. So okay, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was kids playing. And uh, when I looked, first thing I saw was the lady who lives here. She was trying to retreat, get away. And she was holding her video camera up, and, I, okay. and then I started hearing a lot of f bombs. So I kept looking, I'm trying to see who's fighting because I couldn't see from my vantage point. And then uh, I mean, a few seconds later, I see the new boyfriend, her soon-to-be ex. He was trying to restrain her and keep her from getting to the new girlfriend okay. and at that point I saw her I mean just start wailing on him hit him in the back of the head he's ducking he wasn't fighting back he was trying to you know refrain her and, and keep her away from the new girlfriend and she was trying to get around him he kept trying to grab her and she hit him in the back of the head okay a couple two or three swings I saw him at least one or two landed that okay. I saw and that's when I have they, have they asked you to write a statement they yet haven't. would you would you mind sure. writing one for me sure. all right let me get you some paperwork okay. She was hitting him in the process. Okay. You're familiar, right? <laughs> yes. Just write me the story and With then fill out these blocks and then yeah. sign in there. This box is mine here. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. She was 
and then when I got here, he said, she's, she's screaming at me and saying that I, he told me I could come here to see the kids. He's like, you didn't even know where I live. Right. I don't know how you found me. The older daughter told me. Oh, okay. Okay. So it definitely did not seem as though she was invited here by him. It did not seem as Correct. though that they were. She okay. Was, so she just showed up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. According okay. to what they were telling yeah, me. Yeah, she wasn't invited here right. at this time. Okay. They she weren't even expecting her. That's why they were still at the pool and basketball courts, and she was parked up here saying they wouldn't let her in because there was no one there to let her in. Okay. <laughs> Can I use your food? And then, Absolutely. And then so she she's claiming that she ran down the street because she saw her kids. But then these guys are saying she was yelling and... Mm -hmm. and went down there and was clearly trying to go after the new she girl. She had no reason to be there. And she called them for working a house that I think they even said she's paying for, but she's not. She no, this is their there. new girlfriend's right. house. They, everybody right. has said that because the, but she has her husband no, lives down she has in She has no connection to this one. Sure. She just literally came up So here she's got to she's gotta take a run. That's the way I see it. Unless you, unless you guys heard anything different than what I did. Nope. She's the, definitely the primary aggressor. And the question is what we're going to do with this vehicle. Yeah, she's in a place that she shouldn't be. Yep. And coming from there, she was coming from here. They had nowhere else to go. They've got a bunch of kids. They can little kids. I'm going to get away from Try to make contact with these neighbors who she claimed to be on everything. Yeah. There's hers there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up pulling her away. I don't I don't like arresting people in front of the okay, children. Just let you know she's she told me she's three months pregnant. Yeah. So she told me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, well, I don't I'm gonna know. pull her away. We're gonna have a we might have an issue with that fourteen old really attached to her. Yeah. This was yeah. well uh, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to I'm gonna pull her away. I'm gonna let her know that she's gonna be arrested, not to make a scene. And we're gonna do everything we can to make sure her children don't see her being handcuffed and stuff like that. And we gotta figure out what to do with the vehicle. Yes. Well, most likely it's going to have to be towed because I'm sure that the here's husband... The, here's Damon and there's Damon. They're still running still back okay. there. Did you want to just want to touch it to him now? To get a little... Yeah, probably. Angela, would, would you step back here with me right quick? And I don't, I don't beat around the bush. I don't, I don't mess around. Okay. Um, hey, can you just speak to me? You are going to be arrested. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going to do everything I can. I'm not going to let your daughter see you go in handcuffs. All right. We're going to bring you back here. I'm going to. I don't I'm have gonna, any shoes. I got you. We'll, we'll, when you get to the jail, though, okay. You, every everything that's coming out is, is telling us that you were the primary aggressor here. There's a video, yada yada yada. Yes, okay. Sir. Um, How long will I be in jail for? Uh, it's, it's going to be a domestic charge since the two of you are married, so you'll be in until at least tomorrow morning, first appearance to see a judge. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if you. She can stay here. Well, she's going to have to. My car, it's her my van. Is, is, um, it's in my name. That's, that's going to be the tricky part because if if they're not okay with it sitting in their driveway, we're going to have to impound it. Can I at least, okay. can I take my stuff in there with me? Can my daughter hold it or um, I just put myself in a bad situation? You, you did. But you know what? Listen, in, in the grand scheme of things, this will be a blip on the radar. You can level it out. Use the court system. Use us. Yes, sir. You know, don't don't take matters into your own hands. And I, I understand, you know, relationships fall apart every day. New relationships are born every day. Okay, I don't I don't know the ins and outs of your relationship, but I know I know how I do this job, and I don't want your children to see you handcuffed and put in the back of a police car, knowing that you're under arrest. I know that your your 14 year olds probably going to know something. Your your other kids don't have to know anything. At least not from my end. I know they don't need to see you getting 
slammed on the hood or the ground or anything and yes, thrown sir. in handcuffs and then thrown in the back of a vehicle. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, well, I'll get in the car. Is there any way I could lock my wallet in my... I can't lock my... What What if my husband takes my um, my stuff that's in my bag and just... You, you, you trust him to... No. No. Um... What, what kind of stuff do you my have wallet, in your bag? Just my wallet you, you can, and my phone. We can bring them to the jail with you. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's... Mm -hmm. Can I, can I give, can I get them out of the van or can I... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to let you, like I said, I, I don't, I don't want anything to look out of the ordinary right now for the sake of your children. Okay. Okay. Yes, I, sir. I don't want them... I deserve think, this. I mean, they, they'll say, oh my gosh, what, you know, what's happening to mom? Yes, and like I said, in the grand scheme of things, this will be a blip on the radar. You'll, you'll do better. Okay? Yes, sir. Let's go over here if you want to. You can get it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do it just yet. But what what all's in your purse? It's nothing, nothing illegal or? Okay. I'll just, I'll just take a quick peek just to make sure. Any any weapons, knives? Yeah. Um, um, well, I do have like a small knife, but that's for like cutting like open plastic. Where's and, where's it at? It See? might be. There's my phone. So that's why I shouldn't be smoking. Um, it might not even be in here. I no, I don't think it's in here. Okay. I I don't think it's in here. I think it's in my other. Back, but I don't have it. I don't okay. think it's it's not in there. Okay, good. I don't have anything. I lose my lighters all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. Yeah, and I can take my Bible with me. So I I don't know if they'll allow you or if they'll they'll put it in properly. Can I have it in the back seat um, with me? Or? I'll just put it there. Okay. Do I go ahead and get you in? Can put your, you can put your sandals on if you want. They're broken. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll make sure all that stuff gets in the... All right. I'm going to... You said you are pregnant, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to handcuff you in the front. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Give me your first name one more time. Angela. Angela. That's what I thought. I was I was torn between Angela and Amanda. <laughs> Echo sixty two. Eustace, you can show Angela ten fifteen. Yeah, I ran her as soon as I got here. Is that there? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, no problem. We'll figure it out. Everything's good there. Everything's good here. I'll draw the trespass paper for you. All right. I'll, I will advise her on the way to the jail, okay? All right. Gentlemen, thank you. Appreciate it. How you handle it from here. I mean, if you want to be super technical right now, you would be classified as a criminal, but it's not the end of the world.
Step on out here for me. Let's come right to the back of my truck here, okay? I just want to show you I did a, a property sheet, okay? Your, your, I guess that's white and gray. Your salt life hat, your sandals, your Bible, and then your tote, okay? Do you have anything else in there? Um, would you, where, did you put your wallet in here? Yes. Okay, can we, can you get in here and just pull your ID out of there so I can hand it to the, it's in the front there. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I guess you don't. Thank you. Just toss that right back in there. Okay, we're going to head right toward that door over there. You'll see a big star on the wall over there. Just head right over to that star for me. Are you married, single, divorced, or widowed? I'm married. Uh, religious preference? I'm a Christian. Left or right-handed? Right-handed. Did you serve in the military? No. What are you going to do before I start? No. All right, open it up for me. Look up your phone. Turn and face the wall. Raise your head down. Raise your arms above your head. Place them on the wall. Any piercings under your clothing that I can't see? Okay. Okay, turn on face so I can use the left over you. Uh, are you pregnant have any medically implanted devices in your job? You are pregnant how far along? Signature here just for her. her Absolutely not. I'm not signing on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, Angela was arrested for simple domestic battery, as she did lend punches on her soon to be ex husband. But unlike a Karen, she accepted responsibility for her actions and did not put up a fight or blame everyone else when the officer told her that she would be arrested. Rather, she was very polite and remorseful, which is a very pleasant surprise after the scooter suitcase Karen from the last video.